Hello, welcome back to the video. In today's video, I want to go over some of the possible items that could go limited for St. Patrick's Day. It's yesterday. And we did just see recently this Gaelic Guardian went limited, so they definitely have their eye on St. Patrick's Day items for this upcoming holiday. So I want to make this video on some possible other items that are off sale that they could go with if they did want to make another St. Patrick's Day item limited. So I tried to put them in the order from I think least likely to most likely. It's really hard to tell sometimes with off sales, but I just kind of put them in the order that I think that the robot Box would do them. So starting off with the least likely thing to go limited, it is the Celtic Vision Mystic. I think it's actually a pretty cool item. It is a retexture of a limited item, so they could do that, but it is from a gift, and they haven't done anything from a gift, at least in the recent months, so I don't think they would choose something that came out of a gift, but I do have it here as an option. It is a retexture of a limited, so they could choose it, and I would like them to choose it. It's nice rare, but I don't think it is as likely as some of the other choices. Next up right over here, I do have Bandana of the Month March Lucky Bandit. This is actually another pretty cool one. It is a part of the Bandana of the Month series. There are 12 of them, but none of them have gone limited yet, and if they haven't done any of these yet, and it's already almost a year and every month has passed, I don't know if they would do this one. I think it would be cool to see this one go limited, but I'm not sure if they would do it since they haven't done any of the other ones yet. Next, Irish hairstyle and beauty and hair. I think it's a pretty cool looking hair. It is a retexture of that popular hairstyle that they have many different colors in. They haven't done many hairs. I think the only one they actually have done was the Tick Shaggy, so that's why I do have it a bit lower. It is classified as a hat accessory, so they could do that one, but they just do them too often so I'm not sure if they would go back to this one but definitely pretty pretty cool option and this one is kind of the same case here as the last one where it is a hat instead of a hair and it is a St. Patrick's Day themed item so they could go with it I'm not sure if they're gonna do a hair accessory but I think it does look pretty cool and they definitely could go with it since it is themed for that so not a bad choice over here and also another possible option next up I do have Verdian Antlers and this one is a bit higher than the other gift item as it did go back on sale after that so we've seen them choose things that went back on sale even if there were a gift card item or a gift item before, so I think them having it put on sale at one point is definitely more likely. But for Dean Antlers, I think this is something they would probably save for a sale time instead of this regular holiday, but it's definitely a pretty cool one. It did go back on sale, so it is definitely an option right over here. Next up, for Leaf Clover, it is another kind of classic item. I'm not sure if they would go with this one since it is a classic and they typically try to stay away from those, but it's definitely a pretty cool, nice item and not a bad choice if they do end up making it limited. Next up, over here, we have this St. Patrick's Sad Frog. I think it's definitely a pretty cool one, but they did have another kind of frog for Valentine's Day that they could have gone with but they didn't actually go with it so I think they might skip on this one as well. It's definitely a pretty nice one but I don't know if they would go with this one since they didn't end up going with the Valentine's Day frog either. Next up we do have this St. Catrick and they just did actually a cat item limited with this steampunk cat and they could do this one but it might be too soon for another cat head so that's why it's towards the bottom over here but I think it is still a possibility since it is St. Patrick's Day themed right over here. Next we have this gold targeting oculus from the front right over here. You won't be able to tell but it is a St. Patrick's Day item which is probably why it's lower on my list but if you do look in the description it does have references to St. Patrick's Day it is a green item and it does have a name where you just search for gold so it definitely is a St. Patrick's Day item but it doesn't really strike you as one right away with the bats so Roblox might end up missing it so that's why it is a bit lower on my list over here. Next over here I do have Leprechaun Gnome. There are definitely quite a few of these gnome items some of these are actually toy codes. I think this actually looks pretty cool. Not sure if they're gonna go with this one since they might mistake it for a toy code since there are different variants of it but definitely a pretty nice off sale item if they do want to go with this one. Next up over here, Little Leprechaun. This one also is pretty cool. I think they definitely have some other choices that they would probably go with rather than this one. It is another kind of older classic item, but I think they just have other choices relating to top hats that they probably would go with before this one. Next up over here, Shamrock Lapel Pin. This one is definitely not a bad choice. They have done a Lapel Pin in the past, so they could go with this one if they do want to. They haven't done one in a while though, so it's definitely towards the bottom of the likely list, but it is here as an option as it was something that they did do in the past. Next up over here, Magical Rainbow Pot of gold sword pack. Another kind of nice themed St. Patrick's Day item, but once again, kind of similar to the label pin. They haven't done a sword pack in a while, so they could end up not doing this one, but I think it's definitely a pretty nice choice, and I think the, this is definitely something they could go with. Next up over here, we do have Ancient Lucky Top Hat. This is kind of that older, more forgotten item, which is kind of what they're doing right now in terms of what they're making limited. So they could go with this one. I do have a bit lower since it does reference a specific year, so they might want to keep it with that year, but I think it's definitely a pretty nice top hat, and it's something that they could go with if they do want to go with it. Next up over here, I do have the Happy Magic Time Shamrock Hat. It is a part of the Happy Time series, which they haven't touched on in a while, but it is the Shamrock version, so they could go with it. I think it's definitely a pretty cool one, and I think many people will like to see this go limited, so definitely a nice option here if they do want to end up going limited with it. Next up over here, Celtic Warrior. It is definitely that kind of style that Roblox would definitely go with right now. That older off seal helmet, I think it definitely looks pretty cool, and I think this is definitely one of the likeliest options right over here, so not a bad one, and I definitely could see this one going limited soon. Next up over here, we do have Lucky 
term bunny ears. They did actually end up making the Xanwin bunny ears limited just recently, so they do have their eye on the bunny ears, and also Easter is soon, so they could just go ahead and make this one limited for both St. Patrick's Day and Easter. This is a pretty cool one, I definitely could see this one go limited soon. Next up, Shamrock Shutter Shades. They haven't done a Shutter Shades in a while, or I don't think they actually have done any Shutter Shades, apart from the Pumpkin ones, since they brought back limited, so it's not as likely, but I did want to put it here, as I think it is that kind of pattern of an older, more forgotten item. It just seems like something they would choose, so definitely not a bad choice over here. If you owned it, I think it's definitely pretty likely. Next up right here, Leprechaun Hat. I think this is definitely a pretty cool one. It's definitely something that I could see limited compared to the top pets. It is quite a few owners, which they had definitely picked some hats with more owners in the past, so that they could flick the logo with this one. I think there are just a few top pets that are a bit more likely than this one. Next over here, Deluxe Irish Bowler. They typically like going with bowlers, and this one definitely fits with that. I think it looks pretty nice, and I think this is definitely something that they could go with it if they do want to. So yeah, another pretty likely choice over here. Next up, Shamrock bow tie. Another kind of older forgotten thing that they probably would go with. Bow ties and ties are kind of their favorites to go with when it comes to making things limited, so I think this is definitely something they could go with if they do want to make more St. Patrick's Day limiteds. Next up over here, Fancy Leprechaun. This I think is the second likeliest top hat. It is that kind of older, more forgotten top hat, which I think they definitely do like going with right over here. And I think it definitely looks pretty nice, so they definitely could go with this one if they do want to make a St. Patrick's Day top hat limited. But right over here, I do have this top hat, which I think is the likeliest Celtic Knot Shamrock top hat. It just kind of seems like the thing would choose. They definitely do have quite a few of these kind of Celtic Knot items that are off sale. Most of them were actually gift card items, but this is actually one of the few that were on sale and it went off sale, so they could definitely could go with this one. It definitely is pretty rare, so definitely I think is the likeliest top hat choice right over here. Next up, I do have Neon Shamrock along with Shamrock Styles, two different caps. They have definitely chosen many caps in the past. I think most recently they did choose the Snowflake Styles, so they definitely have their eye on the series. I do have this one over the Neon one. I just think it fits a bit better for something that they would choose. Both of these, I think, are very likely options right over here if you owned either of them. They both definitely have a decent amount of owners and definitely something that they could choose to make limited. So now right over here on the last two, I do have Pride of Ireland. They do definitely like these ties and they chose one for Valentine's Day. So I definitely think that they could go with a St. Patrick's Day tie, which is this one. So not a bad one right over here. It has the shamrock pattern over it. So they could definitely could go with this one. And lastly right over here, Four Relief Clover Bouncers. They definitely like these bopper items as possible limited and they did choose one for Valentine's Day once again. So they could go with this one as well. I think this is definitely the likeliest choice right here. It's a more high order count one and I do like these boppers. So I think this is definitely a very, very likely option. So yeah, those are my choices on what I think they could go with for St. Patrick's Day. Let me know any other St. Patrick's Day items that you think they might go limited or some that I might have missed that they could go with. But yeah, that is this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.